Okay, one of the free tools that you've got to help find buyer keywords is the Google AdWords tool. And we'll have a look at the bits of data that, that returns and, and how useful or not that is to you. Now, for the purpose of this example, I've typed in beer diet. Now, I want to turn on all columns. Okay, so here at the top, we've got beer diet. Um, Google AdWords says this, the bids are going to cost you 61 cents. There's you know reasonable traffic for a, for a micro niche, so you might think, well, you know this might be a good good idea. Beer diet. Let's have a look. Just a quick word of warning: this 61 cents can be very misleading because you can see here that beer diet. Um, it tells me I can get into the top three in the AdWords on the right hand side of Google for 61 cent bid. But let's see what happens if I say, well, I'm only prepared to pay 10 cents per bid. Well, now it's telling me I can get into the top three for an, an eight cent bid. And in fact, um, if I say I'm only prepared to pay five cents, and so I scroll down, where's beer diet? Beer diet, well now it's telling me I can get into the top three for a, a bid of five cents. So do be careful about these, um, the bid prices that they give you in the Google free tool. So on, re on reflection then you think, well, okay, the 61 cents per bid, Therefore, people are bidding on it. This thing here, advertiser competition, says that the average um, basically gives you an idea of the amount of competition there is for this phrase. You would think that the higher this advertiser competition, the more um, people are actually bidding on this term. But it's not always the case. So I wouldn't rely on this to tell you. What you're really looking for is you're looking for phrases that have reasonable bid prices but have a lot of competition for ads as well or a lot of ads are being shown because if there's a lot of ads being shown then those words are returning profits to the people who are, who are bidding on those phrases. So you might think beer diet great there's a lot of competition therefore um, that's a phrase that people are making money on that's a phrase that's a buyer phrase. Well let's go over to SpyFu and this is at spyfu.com and if we type in beer diet then we've got an average cost per click of between 22 and 43 cents, but only one advertiser, which basically means that people aren't advertising using this keyword here, beer diet. Some of the other tools you've got available to you is this one over at the Microsoft.com uh, website. It's an online commercial intention calculator, and basically it will tell you uh, a probability that a phrase is a buying keyword. Now, in our case here, beer diet, I've selected query, click go, I've got a, a non-commercial intent of 0.58. Now, you need to be a little bit careful when you use this tool because um, this here will say either a non-commercial intention or commercial intention. In this case, the non-commercial intention, in other words, the probability that this is not a commercial phrase is 0.58. That means the probability that it is a commercial um, a commercial phrase is 1 minus 0.52, which is actually 0.42. Or uh, if you want to think in percentages, it's 42% buying phrase. Now, that can get a little bit complicated or confusing if you're not paying particular attention to this. And also, it's very tiring typing in one word after another. So what I use is Market Samurai to do this for me, and it has a column over here, OCI. And as you can see, beer diet, the OCI, in other words, the commercial uh, intention of that phrase is 42%, which is what we saw over on the Microsoft site, although they prefer to give us the, the non-commercial intention as being 0.58 or 58%. So Market Samurai then will give me a very quick overview of which phrases in this group of keywords that I've got here are actually buying phrases. and uh, you can see diet ginger beer, miracle beer diet might be a good one um, with a 62% commercial intention. Obviously, um, these figures aren't, you know, you have to assume they're not 100% correct and some of them may be way out. So this is just another tool to help you decide. Before we go any further with this, let me just point out something here. I, I've assumed that people are looking for the phrase beer diet. If they are, that's great for me because I the, the diet that I actually follow myself allows me to drink beer and, and I still don't put on any weight. And, you know, to all intents and purposes, this looks quite good. It's got, it's got uh, an AdWords cost per click. It's got AdWords competition or supposedly, although as we've seen over on SpyFu, it's not exactly um, what it appears from the Google site. But if we look here, the PBR, this PBR column in Market Samurai 
has to give you second thought about whether this is actually a good phrase, beer diet, because the PBR, if I just hold that up, you can see the hint there, is the percentage of phrase match searches out of the broad match searches for this keyword. Now, if you don't understand that, don't worry. But um, basically what it means is what is the probability that this phrase is being typed in as beer diet? And it's very low, only 30%. That means that probably 70% of the searches are actually typing in diet beer, which is a completely different product altogether. So creating a mini site based on beer diet may not be such a good idea because these 398 searches a day, probably only 30% of them, so, so what's that about 120 visitors a day, only 30% are actually searching for beer diet. The rest of them are actually searching for diet beer. So once again, you've got to look at the overall picture. You have to look at various factors before you decide on which keywords might be good buying factors. Okay, so if you're using something like Market Samurai, you can get a, a much better overview from within the single software. You can see whether people are actually searching for the phrase in that particular order, which in this case they're not really. You can see advertiser competition. You can see that there's a cost per click, so people, or at least Google is saying that there is a, a value to this particular phrase. And you've got OCI, so you can order by OCI and select the phrases with the higher OCIs. In other words, over 50%, but the higher the better. And then concentrate on those phrases for further analysis to see whether they, um, they are actually buyer keywords. If we take a look over at this other tab, Cake diet, we can see a similar situation where um, cake diet here, got that, the line highlighted, has um, cost per click of 93 cents. It's got some advertiser comp uh, competition. But look over here, uh, PBR 8%. So only 8% of people are probably typing in cake diet. The rest of them typing in diet cake. Once again, a completely different beast. Unfortunately, in one of the recent updates, my, um, Market Samurai removed a column called AWA, which basically told you how many ad words ads there were for a particular phrase. The, the source of that data has been removed and it's not available anymore, so my, Market Samurai had to remove that. That was a fantastic metric to, to use in our calculation because we could look for a high number of ad words, um, good PBR, uh, good commercial intent, and we could come up with um, a list of phrases that were potentially good buyer keywords. So what I've tried to do is put together a system where you can check your keyword phrases for buyer intent without having to test them with pay-per-click. There are problems as we've seen. For example, the very first test I would suggest you do is find keywords where Google has assigned an estimated cost per click because these are the, the, the phrases that Google thinks are commercial and that people might want to bid on. The next step is to check whether there is actually any demand for the phrase. Are people searching for that particular phrase? And we've seen in Market Samurai that you've also got an additional tool there called PBR where you can check to see that people are actually searching for the phrase in that particular order. Is it beer diet or is it diet beer? Two totally different things. So check whether there is any demand for the actual phrases that you're interested in targeting. The next step is to look at the commercial intent for the phrase. Now this tool if it's not 100% accurate and some people say it's not accurate at all but the more you use it the more you can see some patterns and the more you can see the potential of it so I would tend to use this if you're not going to be using pay-per-click to take, check your phrases then look at the OCI as well and Market Samurai is the best for that because it will do it all for you you don't have to type in phrase after phrase after phrase um, and then when you've got all your data you can sort them you can pull out those with commercial intent over 50% and pull out those with at least some cost per click and some demand um, and then you've, you, you've narrowed your list down of buyer keywords and I would then go over to SpyFu and check them to see how many adverts are, are actually being uh, used for each of those phrases and look for phrases that have, I don't know, I, I tend to look for phrases that have 10 or more adverts uh, and you've got a good idea then that people are actually bidding on those key terms and if they're bidding on them there's a good chance they're making money from them but you can always use a tool like AdSpy Pro to spy on those phrases for a, a month or so just to check if you wanted to.